This is Primus 2009 The Blend from Veramonte. <clears throat> the, um, you know, the grapes are all sourced from the Colchagua Valley in Chile. You know, and this is one of these wines that um, it's, it's really kind of, uh, it's really gained a following. Uh, it's been around for about 10 years and, you know, everybody sort of really, really got it from the beginning. Um, just a really nice, super kind of Bordeaux blend, but with a South American twist. You know, you got Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, like 29% in this one, uh, and then you've got 28% Syrah, 25% um, Carmenere, so that, that little Chilean <laughs> note in there, and then uh, Merlot, uh, about 18% Merlot. So it's a really, um, it's a real blend uh, with no particular grape dominating, but all those grapes really complementing one another. Um, of course, Veramonte, owned by uh, Augustin Huneus, um, you know, who's famous for producing great, great wines out of Napa Valley, including fantastic blends like uh, um, Quintessa and uh, Magnificat. So, knows a little something about uh, making blends. Um, you know, and his, his Napa winemakers have, have some input on, on what they're doing here as well. Um, aged in French and American oak, uh, 14 months, so. Very, very tangy, sort of um, tart cherry, uh, cassis. Some nice little herbal notes, um, I get sort of like a little rosemary hint, almost Bordeaux-like there. Some licorice. Mm. Get a little bit of chocolate there. That nice complexity there. Let's try. So, a really sort of um, full-bodied, uh, <clears throat> you know, essentially Bordeaux-like blend, but with a more exotic style to it. Um, you know, you get some of those really nice sort of licorice notes coming out, um, those, those cherry berry notes coming out. Um, there's, a good, there's a good backbone to this wine. And, you know, it, it, it has that complexity, so. It starts showing more on the mid palate. Um, opens up, and you get a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of a um, little bit of more of cherry, um, and then there's a, a good little dose of acidity in there, keeping everything balanced. Um, very nice, the kind of wine that you can really drink right now, but you could also throw a couple bottles in your cellar for uh, I'd say two, two to three years and see some nice development. But, um, you know, match this up with, uh, <laughs> with a good steak. Enjoy.